Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this video. Um, this is a follow-up. If you haven't watched the first video, please do so. It's around 50 minutes and it gives a lot of detail about this particular case. The deeds of Mr. Mike O'Dea. This is the cover of the first video. It's around 50 minutes long. It has a complete fact summary. It shows the events at the particular time, the dates, etc., etc. Okay, you will not be able to understand this video if you didn't watch the first video. Here's the link, so please do so. I will just remind us of some basic facts before I get started here. Okay, this is Mr. Michael Day. He's an actor, he's 45 years of age. He's the CFO of Cobra FX and calls himself the king of Forex, making all kinds of claims about himself. And as shown in the first video, here are some facts. He has completely blown all clients' accounts this is around th three times within five weeks, even the ones who paid him again. He has committed the same mistakes. He has admitted that he broke the rules, over leveraged, got too greedy. His 1K to 100K challenge went to 5K to 0K. He has not done the right thing and he has tried to cover up things. Please watch the video. And he is like a hypocrite. Okay, he's, <laughs> you know. Saying one thing and doing the other here on his post. Are you making these mistakes? If you don't change your ways, your account will be wiped out. <laughs> and that's a guy who actually wiped out all his client accounts. And as I said last time, last time he is at the crossroads. Okay. So my request was that he puts things right. And he hasn't done so at all. He has made things worse for himself. And uh, he hasn't done any of the requested things. He hasn't compensated anyone, he hasn't, uh, you know, commented on it. And rather than doing that, he has actually, you know, um, tried to cover up more evidence, which will be proven in this second video. And uh, let me say again, thank you to all the people who have supplied uh, the evidence, you know, that's great. Only if we work together, we can put an end to this, we can protect other people from becoming victims, uh, you know, we can, you know, hold people accountable and that's very important if you want to improve the FX industry in general. Okay, so I will cover those topics here. I will show the proven misrepresentations of O'Day. I will show his attempted destruction of evidence, Facebook, website, YouTube, Telegram and then I will uh, make some general points. Um, so this interesting look at the statement, for example, I don't see any trade set up. I will keep watching. I will no longer be trading gold for a challenge. That is a comment he made before he placed that massive, catastrophic, long gold trade over leveraged all his accounts and blew the rest of the accounts after the catastrophic Euro Aussie trade where he already started to blow people's accounts by completely over leveraging, breaking rules, just gambling away, you know, and then calling himself a trading coach, the king of Forex. As I said, you're a fool of Forex. And, uh, okay, let's look at this lie, okay, that was on the 22nd of Feb. Somebody asks, how much is the challenge account now? He says, I don't know, added over 3k to my account. Yeah, so that's a lie, of course he knows, okay. First of all, there's another comment where he admits, well, the accounts are a bloodbath. And secondly, as you know, he sits in front of those accounts, he's very aware of what's going on. He knows that he has completely blown the accounts, lost all of the people's money. And, you know, here, rather than saying, being straight, he just tries to BS his way out of it. So that's pretty laughable. And then look at this post of his in his group. Please help. I need success stories. When you have a win from using CTS, please post a screenshot and tell your story of the trade. If you don't mind, I like views for testimonials. <laughs> and here, I had a huge loss trading gold, $60,000. Being stupid and not following my rules. I withdraw from Pax Forex and opened a new VIP account, 20000 You know... Probably you lost much more and by now, you know, it seems quite feasible that also his account proof video was a complete fake. Okay, he's just constructed all that. It wouldn't surprise me at this stage because he has just continued to make things worse. Okay. Rather than putting things right like a man of 45 years of age would do. Yeah. He again did all the wrong things. He deleted his videos on face from the Facebook group and changed his website. Deleted YouTube videos, deleted YouTube comments, removed members from the Telegram group, 
Okay, he did all the wrong things, like a little, little, little kid who, you know, is in panic, right? Rather than, you know, doing the right thing. This, uh, this picture here came from the internet, I didn't make it. Michael D. must have cried, yeah? I understand now why you show yourself like that. <laughs> How ironic. So let's go through it. You remember I showed some of his videos of his Facebook group in my last uh, video where he talks about certain topics. Boom, suddenly they have been removed. You only find pretty pictures on this great, great group of the Kingdom of Forex. His website before calling himself the realist in the industry, whatever. Firstly, re removed quickly the, the performance link because he also deleted the MyFX book account because it just shows his blow up, his repeated blow up. And you know, all this is suddenly removed. If you now go on his website, boom, you have to, you know, log in to see anything. So he thinks he can protect himself with that. Also interesting is this detail here. Before it said Boston, Massachusetts, Miami, Florida soon. He talked a lot about moving to Florida. And now it only says Boston, Massachusetts. YouTube channel, you know, I've shown last time all the videos this man has, you know, or the king of Forex, you know, the account who have been blah, blah, blah. And suddenly, boom, you know, he only has those videos left, realizing that if you would delete them as well, it would look dodgy. So most of the other videos are removed. And then, you know, in the comment section of video one, look what people say. He's still up to the same old tricks. So apparently he did it before. Apparently he's known as a two-bit king, uh, Forex king. Thank you, what a scammer, you have all the proof, sadly we have 99% scammers. Uh, idiots is on hard drugs, blah, blah, blah. What a piece of dot, 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 blah, blah, blah. So what does he do? He gets those comments removed, you know? So don't use vulgar language because you will use it as an excuse to get your comments removed because now you realize that people actually watch him. Also interesting here, somebody asked on this group, it appears you uh, uh, here, uh, second time in three weeks I hear of more accounts being blown. And then he says, you know, I'm just follows up not being negative and re being real. Why would you do the same mistakes? Shouldn't one learn from the mistakes? He says, it's a constant struggle for all traders to maintain discipline. You know that, but that's complete BS. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, because uh, what he did yeah. is he completely gambled away on yeah. purpose. Yeah. This was not, you know, uh, an, a black swan event or an error or anything you know this was not a, a weekend gap or you know flat finger move no no he did normal trades completely over leveraged several times in a row blowing up all the accounts okay and why did he do that well it's uh, also a question of moral hazard and i will elaborate on that in other videos which are following okay because this guy tried to take advantage of other people he tried to cash in on unsuspecting people who trusted him by trying to make money in a very unethical way and it completely blew up in his face, okay? He apparently did, tried to make money with broker commissions, with introducing fees, etc., etc. So the first chance he got his hands on managing other people's money, he just put in huge positions hoping that, okay, if it goes my favor, I look like the king and if it doesn't, you know, uh, at least I make some money, thinking that there wouldn't be any repercussions. I mean, how can you be so, 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 you know, stupid. I mean, this is a joke. You know, I mean, every, the internet doesn't forget. Did you really think that people wouldn't realize that people wouldn't document what he did? That they would just be, go along with it? I mean, it's a joke. And then, you know, the cherry on top, you know, teaching others, calling himself a coach, the king of Forex, you know, saying that other people, you know, uh, should apply risk management and whatnot. And then not only breaking everything, but doing it in the worst manner possible, you know, and then completely losing all of the money of the first investors in him several times in a few weeks. I mean, this is a complete joke. And all his other claims, uh, you know, are complete untrue, that's for sure. I mean, it, you know, his win rate, his claimed other things, it's all probably made up, you know, there's no basis for this. This guy seems to be just delusional and not acting in a rational manner anymore. So basically, to sum up, he keeps on trying to destroy evidence, even though it's documented, it will be documented again and again. Keeps on lying rather than, you know, putting things right. Didn't do the right thing so far, and it doesn't look like he attempts to do it. So I will stay on the case. Keep on sending me evidence, please. I will do additional videos, you know, uh, complaints can be made, etc., etc. Things can be done. We need to also protect other people from this, this guy. 
I mean, this is a complete joke. There's no other way of putting this. And, uh, you know, this is not how a 45-year man should behave, okay? Your parents wouldn't be proud of you, I'm telling you that. You know, you should know better. Okay, like this is the worst example I came across in the last years. I mean, there's a lot of scamming going on, you know, unfortunately. There are always those cases, you know, where people do all kinds of things. But this is really the worst example, I guess, of the last years. I mean, this is a complete joke. And uh, this guy probably, he thinks, you know, he doesn't even realize it. That's the sad thing. He tries to convince himself of, you know, his, his uh, illusions, you know. This is the opposite of professional trading, okay? This is just gambling. And, you know, he he did it not only once or twice, thrice, he did it several times in a very short time period, you know? If he would have done a mistake and, you know, people said, look, after that, well, look, do it now more professional, you know, okay, that's, you know, people wouldn't have complained so much, but he just did it again and again, and he will do it again. You know, whenever he gets uh, money on his hands to manage, he will just put in big positions hoping that eventually something will work and you know then people think he knows what he's doing he's not this guy is not knowing what he's doing okay he has no clue and you know what he did here is I unacceptable completely unacceptable and there will be repercussions if he thinks he can just get away and people will forget this won't happen okay and i, I will make sure that things are documented and that he cannot just continue like he planned to do I mean, you know, this is really catastrophic. There's no other way of putting it. And he thought he could make some quick cash, you know, just by doing some provocative marketing on YouTube, you know. Uh, <laughs> and I've, in the video one, I've also shown his uh, narcissistic disorder. You know, I mean, <laughs> this, this is a wrong place to, you know, practice your acting skills. The financial industry is not there for you to practice your acting skills, okay? I mean, uh, this is just shocking, like absolutely shocking. No shame at all, yeah? no decency and uh, no manly behavior, okay? Just digging the, the hole deeper and, and um, yeah, at the end of the day, you know, Time is ticking, and uh, this is the last call to you directly. We know that you watch this, you know, so do not pretend that you don't know that, you know, this here is documented. And this is the last call to you. Put things right, okay? Pay back people, apologize, you know, and uh, show that you can do better than this. I tell you that, you know, even if you think you got away with it, you know, there is karma in life, and, you know, you will never, ever make your project succeed, your website, your firm and so on, because the way you managed everything is the quickest way of destroying things and destroying your own reputation. And you know, one day you will understand that it would have been better to put things right and you know, to protect your reputation rather than completely messing up, not engaging in unethical, possibly, you know, criminal offenses, you know, you can't destroy the evidence. Okay, you were warned before, you know, and uh, probably just panicked. You saw that, you know, people actually document what you did. And then, you know, you just continue doing the wrong thing over and over again. You know, hoping that if you delete all the videos quickly that, you know, you could get out of it. If you, you know, change the cover of your website, you know, you can get out of it. And deleting comments and whatnot, you know, uh, you can kind of cover up that you completely gambled away purposefully, repeatedly, you know, uh, taking advantage of people, okay? And again, you know, things can go wrong, you know, they can, in trading, there can be uh, big swan events, fat finger events, weekend gaps, broker defaults, all kinds of things that can happen, you know, which are out of your control. But this is not an example of that everything was completely under your control and you did it purposefully, okay? On purpose, you know, it's not that, you know, you were, uh, unlucky or whatever okay this is like a very very clear case of moral hazard where you have you know uh, without having any second thoughts have tried to take advantage of people in a very cheap and unethical and illegal manner 
and this is a really a stupid thing to do. And you live in the US and there's regulation and you know there are bodies, there are institutions, you know, it's not that you can just you know, get away with some something cheap like that. So uh, I will continue to document everything. Again, please send me evidence. I will then do a follow-up video. I will go more into depth regarding how he tried to make money and how he made money uh, because he has uh, also to comment on that and I have luckily saved all that. So we'll go, go into depth there, you know, exposing, you know, how he basically in detail tried to take advantage in which ways he wanted to, you know, earn. And uh, please, 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 if you, have, if you have additional evidence, please send it so, you know, it can be included in the next round of videos. And my final request and advice to you, Mike O'Day, put things right, okay? I mean, this is now getting ridiculous. You are not a kid anymore. You are basically a middle-aged man. And, you know, this is, uh, you know, what can you say to this, okay? You, you, have, you have in response to the first video, rather than, you know, saying, you know what, things didn't go right. Uh, I do this, this, and this. You know, make things worse. Okay, by continuing your old cheap strategy, trying to cover up things, trying to re remove evidence, trying to lure more people into your scheme. And this is really, really laughable at this point, okay? The financial industry is not a place for people like you. Yeah? You will be quickly identified and, uh, you know, people will follow up on cases like that. So, my last call, be smarter, okay, it's in your own interest to put things right after this disaster, okay, and uh, if you want to have any minimal credibility, you know, there's no other way by the, at this point than, you know, uh, putting things right as I have requested before, okay, and uh, otherwise, we will continue to follow every move you make, we will continue to look exactly in detail at, you know, where your weird firm uh Firms are incorporated in which firms you are involved, uh, what your strategies are, etc. We will expose them again and again and again and again. Okay, so don't think that you can just remove everything and you know that uh, everybody will just play along. This won't happen. Okay, you're not respecting the trading game. You know, uh, you you breach the most basic rules like a newbie, and you pull other people into this. And then you are so arrogant to even call yourself the king of Forex. You are the fool of Forex, okay? That's what your name is associated from now on with. The fool of Forex. Okay, breaking all rules, not having any risk management, nothing in place, and you know, doing it on purpose again and again until you blew out all the people. Shame on you. There's nothing more to say. Goodbye. <laughs>